Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. My name's Jade, and this is How to App on iOS. Today we're going to be hanging out and making, I don't know, three or four shorts using three or four different video apps. Who knows where it's going to go? Probably somewhere stupid. Hello, welcome to the show. My name's Jade. This is How to App on iOS. And as I said, today we're going to try and make some shorts. We're going to talk about are they relevant? Is it worth your time to do it? That's up to you, really. Nothing I say matters, really. Ultimately, at the end of the day, I'm just a mouthpiece on a show on YouTube sprouting nonsense every day. That's me. So um, if you're a Wart Warrior, welcome aboard. Thank you for uh, continuing to be a warrior for a dollar a month. Or if you're considering it, thank you very much in advance. I hope you're all doing good. I'm going to say hello quickly and we're going to get into this because i got shit to do today. All right. Uh, Feisty Feather, hello to you. Joe Glenn, FPC, Thomas Christ, what's happening? Mix Club, who's coming on the show, to, uh, not tomorrow, the day after. We've got an interview with Mix Club happening. Red James, there's the thumbnail. Don't wear it out. Yes, another new thumbnail. Does it help with your channel? I don't know. Does it matter? Not really. All right, who else is here? Um, Cy Effens here. Hello to you, Ali and Chris Lane Senior, round two. Yeah, that's it. And Fish, hello, Fishy. Uh, Brad Example, hello, Brad's today's featured artist because I love him, even though he probably thinks I don't. Um, So what else? Who else do we have here? Um, scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. I don't think I see anyone else. Thanks to Leela for doing her show for the last hour and a half. I was lurking around. It's all good, Brad. It's all good. Everything's all good. I just got shit to do. Um, Seagull, hello to you. I'm heading off to record, uh, the walk with me today. It's going to be a day. I'm really excited. What about Walk With Me? I've got a lot of public transport to catch because I'm heading somewhere really cool. You're going to get to see kangaroos. For- kangaroos, finally. Yes, kangaroos. Hello, Russ. And you may see some snakes this time for real because there's a lot of snakes where I'm going today and I'll probably get bitten. Let's hope so. Fingers crossed. Are you excited that I, if I get bitten by a snake? I do want to get bitten by a snake. I think it would be rad to get bitten by a snake because then I get some time off. Let's get some applause for that. So let's hope I get bitten by a snake today while I'm out filming. I sure hope so. Dr. Zorders. Hello to you, Dr. Zorders, and everybody in the chat. And if you're watching on the replay, hello to you. Uh, Wolfstone Studio, boom. All right, so let's uh, OJ over here and do this thing. This is uh, the Beat Community, and is there any changes here? Nambrini's got acoustic voice preamp on sale. OSC finally has updated Kalimba Key. So I did a show on this, and there were some bugs, but they have a, they've promised me that they have fixed the bugs. So if you have this app, it is completely free. Go and check it out. Apparently all the bugs have been fixed and sorted and all of that jazz. Today, we're going to be using CapCut, which we looked at yesterday, Luma Fusion, right? So CapCut's free. You can download CapCut right now. It's absolutely free. It's magical. There you go. Luma Fusion is $29.99 with in-app purchases if you only if you want to use Storyblocks, but everything else in it is included. Final Cut Pro is from Apple. It is the iOS version of uh, Final Cut. It is free to download, but completely unusable until you pay the subscription, which is about five bucks a month or about $50 a year. And Superimpose V, which is completely free. The two I would recommend out of these straight off the bat for making uh, shorts is Superimpose V and CapCut. And Luma Fusion are very close behind. I wouldn't even bother paying a fifty year, fifty dollar year subscription if you're just gonna make shorts uh, using Final Cut Pro. I wouldn't even bother with that one. 
but that's my opinion. There you go. Shorts, are they important? Are they relevant? I don't know. Uh, how, how does YouTube actually work? I mean, there's a lot of conjecture. There's a lot of people on YouTube who'll tell you how they think YouTube works and how you can make your videos do well and all this nonsense. At the end of the day, it, it comes down to, like we talked about on the rant this week, first, you, you need to have a personality. If you've got no personality, you're absolutely 100% and up shit creek. That's the way it is. If nobody likes you, you're not going to do it. You're not going to work. Thumbnails, they come into play. Of course they do. You want to catch people's eyes. But algorithms are something that we are kind of kept in the dark about. It's all a mystery about how the algorithms work. Um, there's, there's people out there who'll tell you how they work. And then there's another video that'll tell you how it works. And then there's another video out there that's four years old and outdated. And people see that and think that's right. And it's, it's very hard. But I've tried um, doing shorts in the past. I think I was maybe doing them wrong. I've, I think the way I'm going to try and do shorts uh, from this moment on after today's show is I'm just going to make them stupid and make no sense and make them have nothing to do with my channel because that seems to be the way that people engage with them. As soon as you try and make shorts that like uh, identify with your channel, right, so about make tutorials, which was what I did, nobody engages, right? Because you're cutting into the long form content. But I think if I tap into the stupidity that happens on my walk with me's, I don't know, like magpies swooping me in the head, people will watch that. People will want to see a short of me getting smacked in the head by a magpie, right? So that's the, how I'm going to approach it this time. Hugh Caldwell, Pookie, what's going on? Mr. Smith who's playing after this. I don't know how long this is going to go for today. I'm going to end it when I want to because today I don't give a total <laughs> Right? That's the way I'm feeling today. So I think weirdo stuff is the way that we go. Greg O'Sullivan, hello to you. Is there anyone I've missed? Sorry if I'm in a testy mood today. It is what it is. Some days you just wake up out of bed and you think... You know what I'm saying? All right, we're going to dive in and um, play with this. See how we go with shorts. So first off, uh... <laughs> uh... <laughs> if I had a bread roll, I would put it under your foot so you could stand on it so I could say you're on a roll. All right. We're going to start off today, I think, with CapCut. And um, I'm going to open up CapCut. Boom. So what we're going to do first, I've already loaded in a video here to start off with. And I think, not this one. I don't want this one. I want this one here. So I have this video of me getting swooped in the head by a magpie. And I'm going to try to make a short out of this. Let's see it. This. So I'm going to put some bleeps in, of course, because... There's swearing in it, and I don't want it to get, like, censored. So I'm going to self-censor it, of course. Let's play the clip. I'm, I'm not going to use all of this clip. This is from episode, I think it's episode five of Walk With Me Season 1. Yeah? Let's hit play. Thank you, Look at Pookie. Let's get ready to do it again. Thank you, Pookie. Look at this thing. They're vicious, man. That thing just nearly hit me right in the head. See if it's got the balls to go me again. Come on. Love you, Pookie. Come on, bro. Exactly. You don't have the guts, do you? Run away. Fly, my pretty demon. Well, I don't even know if the camera caught that, but that demon magpie swooped me and I felt a breeze across the top of my head. They're vicious motherfuckers here. They, they thwack you right in the head. They swoop down. They're brutal. If you don't know about it, Google, YouTube, magpie swooping. There's a, oh! There's a, oh! There it is again, did you see that fucker? <laughs> see, I think, I think. Holy fuck! Look see, at it. People want to see that. I think that'll be a good short because people want to see people get hurt, get in pain. So let's trim this, and now we want to, what we want to do, 
there's a wonderful feature in this particular um, app that will take this from being a 16 by 9 widescreen video and it will uh, auto follow your face and turn it into a short. So first we need to trim it. So where are we going to trim it? We're going to trim out the, the stuff at the beginning here and try and get where I'm talking to be the start, maybe here. Well, I don't even know if the camera caught that, right. but that demon magpie swooped me. Because we, we need to build up, build it up. And maybe, maybe about there. Yeah. So how long is this clip? It goes for 40 seconds. Perfect. It's got, remember, a short needs to be a minute. 59 seconds is the maximum you can go for a short. Right. So there's our clip. Now we need to make this, we need to turn it into a, a uh, six, what is it? Six, nine, nine by 16, the opposite, the other way around. So down here we have this auto reframe. I love this. This is a pro feature in CapCut. You need to pay a subscription. It's a, uh, what is it? Uh, we worked out yesterday, $12 a month for all the pro features. And look how easy this is. Bush. I can just hit TikTok because TikTok is the same size as YouTube. It is 9 by 16. Click well, it. Well, I don't even know if the camera caught that. Look at that. But that demon magpie. I don't have to do any work now. me and I felt it's it breeze across the top of my it's head. It's going to follow my They're face. These motherfuckers here. They, they and create the right short the for me. They swoop down. They're brutal. If you don't know about it, Google YouTube magpie swooping. Oh. Now, you can just see it in this. It's enough, right, to see the bird in there. That's going to be enough, I think. <laughs> there it is again. Did you see that fucker? <laughs> Holy f Okay, so I can probably trim that a little bit and just trim out that last bit. Where I say holy. Let's go to tap this and probably just because I'm going to. There it is again. Did you see that fucker? That's it. That's where it needs to end. And we're going to put some text in there as well. So I'm going to have to like then, you know, fix the text up. Now we've got swearing in there. So what am I going to need to do? I'm going to need to add some sound effects. So let's do that. I'm going to click on audio and uh, click sounds and <laughs> going to go over here to my files and extract audio. No, not, not that. We're going to go to my device and um, select from device. Now I have a cool little sound effect, which I prepared earlier to uh, block out the swearing. And hopefully, I, hopefully I'll be able to do this. So it's in my audio share and um, let's go by... Um, uh, date. It is by date. What is happening here? AUM. We want to go untitled. And I think it's this one here. We'll open it up. And I'm going to add this, this tube unit audio. So this is a little um, sound effect. So we'll find the swearing. Well, I don't even know if the camera <laughs> caught that. But that demon magpie swooped me and I felt a breeze across the top of my head. They're vicious motherfuckers. Right, there we go. Vicious motherfuckers. So I need to grab this audio now and move it to where that is. My head. They're vicious motherfuckers. And then I have to... They're vicious motherfuckers here. So where did it, where did it end? They're vicious motherfuckers here. They're vicious motherfuckers here. That'll do fine. They're vicious motherfuckers here. So we've got to find another swear. Now what I'm going to do is click on this and we're going to do a duplicate because there is more swearies in here. I probably don't need to do this. But, you know, if you want to... Whack you right in the head. Want to make money. Swoop down. <laughs> They're brutal. If you don't know about it, Google YouTube magpie swooping. There's a... Oh! All right. So it's going to, I think the only other one is at the end. So we can drag this all the way to the end. There it 
Jesus again, did you see that fucker? It's right at the end. We can probably stretch this out a little bit. So I get all that word in. There it is again, did you see that fucker? <laughs> there you go. So we've got 39, it's about 40 seconds. Now I need to go in. There it is again, did you see that fucker? <laughs> we'll put it there. Now I need to go into the audio of the actual clip. And I'm going to have to cut this here and remove that volume, right? So what we're going to do is now we have the uh, audio here. Now we have the video clip and I should be able to split the audio. Now I did this yesterday on the show and I can't remember how to do it. Um, it was somewhere down here. Volume transform. Uh, while we're in here, we've got the clip selected. Extract audio. There we go. So there's our audio. I've hit extract audio and now it's given us a second track that I can go in here and now lower the volume of this second track, which is great. So we'll find where that word is. There it is again, did you see that fucker? And I can just trim that because it's right at the end. We can hopefully zoom in a bit. So it's about there, that should work. Again, did you see that? Perfect. That's where it's going to end on that stupid horn. That's exactly what we want. And now we're going here. We'll edit out the the swearing down here as well. They're vicious motherfuckers here. Okay, so that is. I think it's that word right there. So what we're going to need to do is trim this, split it, and. Uh, Let's see how that goes. Should be able to bring that in there. My head. They're vicious <laughs> here. They, they <laughs> Perfect. Thack you right in the head. Perfect. See that? So that is how we added in a sound effect as well. So that's good. We're ready to go there. Well, I don't even know if the camera caught that, but that demon magpie swooped me and I felt a breeze across the top of my head. They're vicious. <laughs> here they they thwack you right in the head they swoop down so i'm going to want to put some text in here as well because i want people to read what i'm saying because that is the new thing that people are doing with tiktoks and with um with uh, youtube shorts so if i click on this video um <clears throat> now i can't remember how to do this yesterday <laughs> so, um we get out of this and we want to do text text a text a text Let's click on this and um, animation style. It's going to be somewhere in here, uh, somewhere, maybe overlays, background, or maybe it is in under text. I think it is. Is that it? There it is. Auto captions. That's what we want. So we have auto captions here and now we can choose some captions. Hi, princess. and Goodbye, princess. Sorry, I missed you. Oh, yeah, it's Valentine's Day here. doesn't really matter to me. I don't really care. So... Let's find some text here. I want to keep it simple. What's this one? <clears throat> so we want to do from video. So I'm choosing from video. And um, hopefully, uh, we'll see how this goes. It's the first time I'm doing it, so we'll generate. See how it goes. I'm flying by the seat of my pants today, guys, so... You know, first time I've used this to make shorts. And as you can see, it's made this really big because it's looking at the video like it's a whole thing. I think, how do we get around that? I'm going to undo. And what I'm going to do here instead is I'm going to save this video. Right? What is this ending bit here? Can I get rid of this? Yes, let's delete that. We don't want that ending thing there. Okay, so I'm going to actually bounce this video because see how it still has the uh, background. 
So if we go in here and change the resolution, now I don't know if this is going to work on it, if I've done this the correct way, or I need to go in now and change the video aspect ratio. Do I need to do this? I think I do. There we go. So I had to change the aspect ratio of, of the video. Okay. Just so you know. So now our whole video is in the correct aspect ratio, right? So now I should be able to go in here and uh, do this text thing. So if we go in, do text, auto captions, uh, we want to take from the video and we want to grab this one here, generate, and now it should fit all of it into the, the correct aspect ratio of the video. There you go, it did it for us. Well, I don't even know if the camera caught that, but that demon magpie swooped me and I felt a breeze across the top of my head. They're vicious <laughs> here. <laughs> they, they thwack you right in the head. They swoop down. Nice. They're brutal. If you don't know about it, Google, YouTube, magpies swooping. There's a... Oh! Oh! <laughs> Did you see that? Okay, so did you? So this one needs a little bit of editing. So let's uh, do some editing with this one. So all you need to do is click on it, I think. So there it is again. Did you see that? So that's been fixed. Did you see that? We'll fix up all the sizes too because you can do. You can batch them. I think you can batch them all. If you don't know about it, Google YouTube magpie swooping. Let's just make sure everything's right. Uh, well, I didn't even know if the camera was caught that. The demon magpie swooped me and I felt a breeze across the top of my head. They're vicious. They're vicious <laughs> here. We can go in here now and put in a bunch of expletives, right? Let's uh, vary it up a bit. Another hashtag, another at, and a, uh, a dollar sign. So there we go. And we'll tick that. So now we've got... They're vicious here. Oh, it didn't work. So we've got to shorten it, I think. Is that right? Let's see. They're vicious here. Ah. I wonder how to fix that. Maybe we'll just leave it. Let's undo all that. Because I'm not sure. Because there's a gap there. But I guess it's timed to the actual um, video. So that's going to be a hard one to fix. I don't know how to fix that. In fact... Um, Let's just leave it. Now, what I want to do is change the size of this. So we can make this a little bit bigger and bring it down. And hopefully, I can apply. Yeah, see how it moved them all down now? So they're all down a bit lower. So when you go to edit them, all you need to do is go in and make sure this apply to auto captions, I think. And it moves everything down. Wicked. Well, I don't even know if the camera caught that, but that demon magpie swooped me and I felt a breeze across the top of my head. They're vicious <laughs> here. They, they thwack you right in the head. They swoop down. They're brutal. If you don't know about it, Google, YouTube, magpie swooping. There's a, oh! <laughs> Okay, so what I want to do in here to make it a little bit more interesting is I want to edit the video and add some effect to it. So as soon as I get hit, or maybe in the slow motion bit, so as soon as it changes to slow mo, it's like, oh! let's see if we can chop this, we can split it. We'll zoom right in.
find the, the actual point where it changes. And we'll split this here. And then on this particular clip, let's add some kind of stupid effect to make it kind of stand out maybe. Does that sound good? I think it sounds all right. Um, where are we? We're looking for effects. Stabilized. I think we go to, uh, <laughs> where do we go? Effects. Animations. Is this where you do it? Maybe? No? Um, it's on, um, God. Um, didn't I only do a show on this yesterday? That's how much my brain is uh, working. There's got to be a uh, there's got to be a thing in here to find it. Uh, recover, replace after the retouch. It's not in retouch. That's face. That's for makeup and stuff like that. Overlay, basic, da, 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 transform. No style. No, maybe trending expressions. Could be maybe. I want like the superhero one. That's what I want. Uh, video effects, motion. Let's try one of these. Anyway, can't apply to uh, this style to videos. Well, that's cool. I just don't want it to uh, to uh, apply to the entire video. That's what I don't want. So I just want it to apply to this one, and I can't remember how to do it. It's not under filters. Uh, that's uh, filters. No, thank you. Uh, at the end, video effects, is it? I don't see video effects at the end here, Chris. Um, reverse. It's got beats, voice changer, freeze, opacity, uh, stabilize. I'm sure I got to it yesterday from here. So I can get to it down here. There, oh, there video effects. But see, this, I'm not sure if this is going to just affect, the, oh yeah, if it's just going to affect the one clip, let's try it. So we'll do like a, uh, is there like a fire or something? Or a catch on fire? If I typed fire. Anything? Oh, fireball, flames. Okay, so I what's stupid is it doesn't let you play it again. Ah, right, so you add the effect that way. Yeah, sorry, I forgot. So, there's it. Oh, <laughs> right. Okay, so that's how you add your effect. So let's find something else now that we uh, found our effect. And what do we got to lens? Or maybe a shaky thing? Maybe a shaking one? Some kind of, we've got wobbles, optical zoom, tracking shots. What else do we have? Um, oh! Eight. <laughs> oh! <laughs> that one's that one's kind of cool. <laughs> oh. Uh. I'm just gonna go through. We've got nightclub. Oh, this oh. one's. Oh. 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 Um, I like this. We'll try oh. this shake one. That'll that'll work. That'll work. So let's bring this shake down here. See how that goes. YouTube magpie swooping. There's a oh. <laughs> And now maybe this one, we'll put something a bit different in this one, yeah? So we'll add another effect. Um, maybe a glitch or something? I'll be 
ング。What <laughs> at a dreamy halo? What about a, a dreamy halo? Yeah. What was that under star? Pizzazz. What about pizzazz? Yeah, that's it. That's what we want. <laughs> so stupid. So absolutely fucking stupid. But that's what we're trying to do here. We're trying to have fun with these shorts. So we need to see when it speeds back up. It's about there. There it is again. Did you see that? All right. We've got some effects now. That'll do. Well, I don't even know if the camera caught that, but that demon magpie swooped me and I felt a breeze across the top of my head. They're vicious <laughs> here. They, they thwack you right in the head. They swoop down. They're brutal. If you don't know about it, Google, YouTube, magpie swooping. There's a oh. Ridiculous. So I might do a bit of a color correction on this video as well, because this was taken from um, an, the unprocessed video. So how do we do that? We're gonna to go to adjust and try to do an auto adjust. Let's move this along. There we go, that looks much brighter. So we've added, this is a pro feature as well. I've just added a quick auto adjustment and instead of ticking down the bottom here, I'm just gonna hit apply to all and now it's applied to all clips. So the whole lot now has that, you can see the well, black, the black is the a bit, caught that. Darker, that everything's a bit darker, it's a bit more over the top. I felt a breeze across the top of my head. For a short, They're for a TikTok. Here. They, they thwack you right in the head. They swoop down. They're brutal. If you don't know about it, Google, YouTube, magpie swooping. There's a... Oh! <laughs> Did you see that? Okay, we're good. Now I was thinking I might put up uh, a little watermark. Uh, so we're going to add. How do we do this? Um, I need to find my watermark. Watermark, watermark, watermark. How do we uh, throw in a watermark? I do believe I can do it by going, um, let's see, if I go over here to... We'll go to documents and I need to find my watermark and we'll throw that in as well. So I can go up here. Let me just find a, a, a um, how to app watermark. I'm sure there's one somewhere down here. Somewhere in here. I should have one ready to go, but I don't. Um, <laughs> Look at all the crappy. This is my how to app uh, folder with all of my, uh, you can see all the apps that I uh, have to remove the backgrounds for. This is where basically everything that's a background removal. Look at all these pictures of Pete and everyone in here. Yes, 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 yes. So I think my how to app one should be down here somewhere. What is it called? It's got a name. Uh, let me think what it's called. I'll tell you how I can find it. It is called image something. Let me find it. Uh, it's somewhere down here. How to app on iOS. Because this thing was made way back in the day when I first started the channel. And for some reason, I have not named it something clever. So let's find it in LumaFusion. 
Good stuff. Um, let's go over here um, to how to app to um, imported files. And we want to go to, uh, I think it's under a, over. No, it is inside imported and other app, I do believe. Riveting stuff, this there it is. So it's called over page zero three. <laughs> over page zero space three. <laughs> wow. Good stuff, Jade. Um, over page zero. Maybe. Maybe we'll find it or maybe I won't. It's looking bad. Nice one, Jade. You can't even find your own. No, no files match this image. Wicked. Let me go up here. I think it could be inside of um, over GoDaddy Studio. Where are we? Over, 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 over. Or I just won't put a logo. Once I find, I need to rename this logo. I seriously do. It's uh, terrible that I haven't done this. And you see how... Shitty, shittily I work. Uh, out, out, out. We're in order, aren't we? Let's go. Let's search by uh, name. Over photos. It's either here or it's not. It's not going to be there. Let's search for it here. Now there are, we, oh, did I choose uh, by name? Yes, I did. I did. I did. So we're looking for uh, O. Hi, the deal for real. It's way too many pictures in here. I think I have like 40 gigabytes of crap in here. I really need to sort this shit out. Um, over page. It's a zero, over page dash zero, I do believe. Over page dash zero. How to weapon iOS, there it is. Oh my God, let's open this. We're gonna share this. Hopefully we can share this into our project. CapCut, douche. It let me do it, sweet. So there is my thumbnail. Now, we worked this out yesterday. I need to turn this into an overlay. So now, see that? I just hit the little overlay, turn into overlay, and now I can put this logo wherever I want, right? So now I can stretch this out for the whole video. So this is a transparent image. And now I can move this, put it up in the top corner. I can change the size of it. I can pinch it. Can I pinch it? Or I can uh, leave it like so. <laughs> it looks kind of stupid up there. But how do we uh, change the size of it? I've got a transform. Camera crop. I don't want to crop it. I want to change the size. I want to blend animation. No. There we go. Just You just pinch. So if you're just wondering how I did that, I just pinched to make it bigger, smaller. We're just going to put it up in the top corner. So it's like a little watermark all the way through. Well, I don't even know if the camera caught that, but that demon magpie swooped me and I felt a breeze across the top of my head. They're vicious <laughs> here. Maybe I'll center it. They, they thwack you right in the head. They swoop down. They're brutal. If you don't know about it, Google, YouTube, magpie swooping. There's a, oh! <laughs> Did you see that? Sweet. I might center it because I'm a bit anal with that kind of shit. There we go. So it's auto centered and that's it. Uh, that's all I'm going to do. It doesn't have to be fancy. It just has to show a magpie hitting me in the head. That is the most important thing because it's a sight gag. It's a joke. It's ridiculous. So now we're going to try and uh, bounce this from here and let's just make sure the quality is right. So we're going to go 30 frames. That's what it is. 
We'll, we'll, we'll send it up high. It's going to tell us it's 73 megabytes. Um, we've got 30 frame rate, 1080p. That's all it needs to be for a short. And now we're going to share. You can check this from here. We're going to hit uh, save to device. And it's doing it. There's our first one. We're going to move over to superimpose X next and make a... Uh, so that's done. Let's see. Has it gone to my uh, photos app? There it is. But that demon magpie swooped me and I felt a breeze across the top of my head. They're vicious <laughs> here. Sweet. So that one's done. Let's head back over to CapCut. We're done. I don't need to do anything else. No, I don't want to answer any questions. And now we're going to scoot over to Superimpose and I'm going to make a short for Brad. Yeah, and then the last one we're going to do is we're going to do the shopping trolley, me killing a shopping trolley for fun. All right, and then we're going to get out of here. Um, I need to run the ad like I do every day. Remember, it's number 42. That's an easy number to remember. So if you want to avoid the ads, you can do it by becoming a YouTube Premium member. If you get an ad, there's not much I can do about it right now. You may or may not get one, but the ad has been run and we're done there. All right. Let's bounce back over here. So we've got Superimpose X. This is Superimpose X here. This is our. Um, this is free as well as CapCut. So it doesn't have as many features, but I really like the workflow. As you can see here, this is where I would make all of my shorts that I was doing. Just to give you a look at some of these shorts, this is like a, a Bleach short that I made. And uh, I've not too many lines to make one of these. So these are actually, uh, I, I have a workflow for this, definitely, but um, we're going to do something a little bit different. Brad, as I said yesterday, I'll say it again, I, it seems like if it's not saving and it's telling you that uh, there's a pro feature that you can't bounce because there's a, you've added something in there that's that's a pro thing. That's That's why it's doing it. There you go. So. What are we going to need to do for Brad? So Brad's got a whole bunch. He tried to make one yesterday, and here's his thing. So what I'm going to do is try to take some screenshots of this. And um, he's got these little images in here. Now, hopefully, I can do this. Let's uh, go over here and play this. Let me find the clip and pause it. So I want to take some screenshots. So let me take a screenshot of this and um, man, I love that my, my iPad does this. It's so ridiculous. Let's delete this one for some reason. So I'm going to take screenshots of this clip of these little bits and save them individually. They don't have to be perfect. Um, Let's play a little bit more, pause that, and try that again, and take a screenshot. So the reason, can you see that, what it's doing? When I take a screenshot, it's taking two screenshots. That's because to do a live stream, you need to plug in a HDMI cable. So it's trying to screenshot. I oh mean, why is it? I guess I can't do it. I guess I can't do it because, <laughs> fucking hell. Because I've got... Because, <laughs> really? 
Is this the case? I can't do it. Because I've got a, oh my God. See that? Oh, you guys can't see it. On my screen, it's pausing the video. <laughs> it won't let me. Oh, fuck me. Okay, how do I do that? That's, a, that's, I don't know how I'll do it. Let's try this. This is fantastic. When, you, when you're live streaming and you're trying to take a screenshot, you can't actually do it because the HDMI is hijacking the video image. Wow. Let's find a workaround. I love iOS so much. iOS is just a constant test of one's patience. So Brad's already uploaded this. So what I can do now is kind of pause this like so, right? And I can uh, take screenshots this way. So let's take a screenshot of this. Now, all I want from this is the little T-shirt thing, this image. Right. <clears throat> now, let's hit play again. Now we'll take a screenshot of this. Bush, bosh, bash. The things you do to make a uh, cool little short. So screenshots are your friend. Let me tell you that, folks. If you want to screenshot anything or record video from somewhere, I'm not going to bother with uh, him playing because I'll, I'll get that from YouTube. Bloodthirsty wolves Howling at the satellites The full moon brings out the madmen Hitting the streets tonight What's it all mean? Corrupt and bankrupt it seems Leading a flock of sleeping sheep To the slaughter feed the chaos machine Okay, well, I've got this picture because I made that. I think that's the same. Is that the same image as before? Yep. So he's put the same image in there twice. Awesome. That'll do. Corrupt and bankrupt. So what I'm going to do now is go to one of Brad's performances, which will be this one, and we'll screenshot some stuff. Look at this idiot. And I hate reading old love letters. I'm going to grab that right from there. Well, all the snow has turned to water. So I'm just screen recording and I should be doing this. On Christmas days, they've come. Check, 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 check pretty hammered so <laughs> I'm pretty hammered hey Greg did I say hi to you hi bear hey Dennis well all the snow has turned to water Christmas days, they've come and gone And broken toys in faded colors Are all that's left to linger on And I hate graveyards and old pawn shops Cause they always bring me tears I can't forgive the way they've robbed me Of all my childhood souvenirs Memories Okay, so we'll stop that. We've got our little screen recording now. We don't need this anymore. Uh, I've got little pictures of Brad I can use. So let's bounce it back over here to superimpose. Let's create a brand new project. And um, we're going to start off. 
we're going to get in here and we'll use this uh, video of Brad that we just took. So let's uh, throw this in. And we'll edit this down. So I'm going to take this here. Keep the, uh, we'll chop this. So you can just drag the handles here of this. So I'm going to take it from where he starts singing. Love snows. From there. Love, love snows. Love snows turn away. Let's zoom in and try and get it as tight as we can. Love snows turn to water. Sweet. Now I need to change the uh, dimensions of this video. Jeez, it's been a while since I've done this, uh, since I've used this thing. <laughs> I've forgotten how to use it. <laughs> Good's that? Um, what are we doing? Good on you, Jade. You are killing it today. There's our full screen. Uh, we need to go in here and uh, change. Or do I do it at the start? I can't remember how to do it. There you go. Oh, man, my brain is really fucked lately. Um, we've got opacity, transform, audio, speed, freeze, reverse, uh, mask, track, effects, replace, duplicate, copy. It's not in there and I can't remember how to do it. We want to go here. Ah, it's in format. There we go. Okay, so I've got to click off the image. There it is. So format's down the bottom here. We want to change this to a 9 by 16. There we go. And I want to stretch this so it's full screen. I don't want those black bars. Love snows turn to water. Christmas days, they've come and gone. And broken toys in faded colors are all that's left to linger on. Sweet. So there's our video of Brad. Where are we going to end this? They always bring me tears. I can't forgive the way they've robbed me Of all my childhood souvenirs So we've got 49 seconds in there Love snows turn to water and Christmas days they've come and gone Broken toys and faded colors Are all that's left to linger on That's where I'm going to chop it, right there I'm going to split that, I don't need any more of this Let's just delete it So that's that section that we're going to use We're going to need to import some more stuff, of course We're going to need to uh, plus some things in here and I'm going to add in these photos, photos or video layer. And we have the after party. Let's throw that in here. Now it's going to put it on the line above. Now what you can do is drag these things so they work together. Yeah. And we need to put something, I want to put something in the background underneath here. So uh, this is where I'm going to, we're going to put um, some text on this particular image and we're going to use this across two uh, of these clips so let's put in another clip as well while we're here we're going to put in the swan here the date and then we're going to drag this down here as well we'll put in a transition for these as well too so they transition nicely but we're going to put some text up above too so let's click on this and we want to add in some text, which I can't remember how to do it. It's been too long. Uh, we want to hit the plus and we want to put a text layer. 
And we want to drag this across both of them, right? Because this is going to go across both of these. They're about the same size, so that's okay. And double tap, and we are given this uh, section here. So we're going to put, um, let's go all caps, maybe. And we need to pick a font. So I'm going to go in. You, you can actually, there's a whole bunch of fonts in here. They've added a new thing too with custom fonts. So you can actually load your own custom fonts that you have, or you can go straight to Google fonts and download. This is a new feature they've just added. This is rad. I already have some device fonts in here. I'm going to choose uh, Liberator for my custom font. I'm going to move this up here and then make it a bit bigger. Make sure it's centered. So there's our first uh, font. We can go and fix that up later. And we'll add in another one with a plus text layer and stretch this out. I'm not trying to make anything fancy here today. Um, we we'll use the same Liberator. Just so we have some uniformity. So now you'll see this will stay across both of these images. Well, all the snow has turned to water. And Christmas days, they've come and gone. So what we need to do now is, um, let's see, we want to take, how about this, how about we uh, move this, I'm going to grab this clip here, and move it up there, then I'm going to take this video and pull it back. So we have over the top, we can see Brad underneath. Well, all the snow has turned to water. All right. And then we'll go into this text and we'll give it some fancy uh, flair. So you can actually go into the text and add effects to it. So you can add an effect here. We can add like a, um, where are we? Uh, edges and text. You can add like a glow. All right. So it'll kind of. Now that we've got this outline and glow, we can change the thickness of it. We can change the fade of it. So you can still see Brad underneath, but we've given it a little bit of flare. And we'll do the same for the top one. Maybe. We'll go in, swipe across to our effects, add an effect. And we'll do the same thing here. So we can see him underneath, jamming away. Well, all the snow has turned to water. And Christmas Day. Well, all the snow has turned to water. And here's the thing. We can make these a little bit longer. They only go for two seconds. So we can stretch this out a bit and get, uh, where are we? So we'll double these. We'll make these four seconds. Hey, Michael Lanthia, what's going on? Well, all the snow has turned to water. I don't blame people for tuning out today. What a boring show this is. Christmas days, they've come and gone. Well, all the snow has turned to water. Christmas days, they've come and gone. And broken toys and faded colors. 
Or all that's left to linger on. So now we can stretch this out a bit more because we've got some more time to drag this out. We want to maybe make this, um, I don't want to go, I don't want to go like, uh, short shouldn't be too long, I don't think. You don't want to try and max 42. Let's make it 42 because that's a good rounded number. There we go, that'll do. Well, all the snow has turned to water. Because now what I want to do is make a recreation of the thumbnail. Christmas days, they've come and gone. And broken toys and faded colors are all that's left to linger on. And I hate graveyards and old pawn shops Cause they always bring me tears And I can't forgive the way they've robbed me I have to make it so it works Maybe even shorter here so we'll cut it off um, And I hate graveyards and old pawn shops Cause they always bring me tears and I can't forgive the way they've robbed me Of all my childhood souvenirs So it can, can probably go a bit longer there So if I drag that Let's just go... I want to put in a black box soon. Probably around there. Forgive the way they've robbed me. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is put in this little black line. So this little black box. So let's find a black box. Um, pretty sure you can do it. Uh, we need to hit the plus. We need to add a shape layer. There's our shape layer. And double click on this shape layer. We want to add a shape and we want to add like a rectangle or, or a square. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to add a square. Pro membership shape. What? what? They've, <laughs> what? This is new? Really? A square shape. Now you got to pay. Oh, I, I, I must have it. There you go. Well, that's cool. Um, that saved me. We want to fill in this this as well too. So it's we need to fill it and make it a solid. I want to make it black. That was cool. Thank God I didn't have to pay. I'm not paying. All right, and now I can stretch this. Put it over the top. So now we've got a, a this black shape here, and you'll see why I want to do this. Cause they always bring me tears. And I can't. Well, all the snow has turned to water. And Christmas days they've come and gone. Broken toys and faded colors Are all that's left to linger on And I hate graveyards and old pawn shops Okay, so let's do it there. We're going to add this shape back here Cause they always bring me tears I can't forgive the way they've robbed me Of all my childhood souvenirs Sweet I'm going to drag that out there And now in here, we're going to add some, some stuff 
because I want to try and recreate the actual um, the actual thumbnail, but in a short version. So here's here's the thumbnail. This is the current thumbnail. So I'm going to need that picture of Brad um, to pop up. I've got that red text, and I've got the, so I've got those skulls in there as well too. So we've already got the black background in there. What we need is the skulls. Right, so let's open this up. We're going to add the skulls in here. We're going to add the photo. I have the skulls here. So there they are. I'm going to drag these back. Stretch this out. And make it a bit bigger. All right, that's okay. And uh, then we're going to have center that and then we're going to add brad in there now i think i can add a layer from my files app so if i go to my files app my documents i think i have the background the the photo of brad that's missing the background eventually it might load Great idea for content. Anyway. So let's grab Brad, put him there. I'm going to make him a bit bigger. That kind of looks all right. Kind of looks like he's fitting in there all right. It's centered. So that'll do. And now we're going to put in uh, down the bottom the uh, or up the top, the after party. And I can even keyframe this. So watch this. We're going to keyframe Brad out of the shot. So we're going to go to the start of this. going to add, it, add in a keyframe here. There's our keyframe. And we're going to go to the end of this. And we're going to put a keyframe in here. So let's go back to the start. And we're going to make him animate into the scene. Fuck that up. I fucked that up. I'm just going to make him slide in like this. Because they always bring me tears. I can't forgive the way they... In fact, what we're going to do is take this, remove this keyframe. We're going to put this in about here. Put this keyframe in here. Here we go. On shops. Because they always bring me tears. I can't forgive the way they've run. Now I know it's centered, it says it's centered, but it doesn't feel centered. So I'm gonna put it like that. So we have him coming in. All pawn shops. So at least it has some kind of movement. That's the reason I'm doing this. Bring me tears. I can't forgive the way they've robbed me. Vama. And then we're gonna put in some text. So we want some text to come in around about here too. So let's add a text. Um, just going to put the after party four. 
stretch that out. In fact, what we'll do is Now we can um, give this a go and down the bottom we'll try and mimic the other one which was Brad example. So basically we can uh, do a, a copy, we can duplicate this one, drag it up here, just change the text to Brad example, if I can spell. We want to change the color of it to a double tap and swipe up and we want to change the color I don't know and then we can add some effects in here as well too so let's let's add some effects so here we have things like motion so we can do things like uh, this Thank you. All right so we've got all these little uh, motion things we can do. Thank you. Or a chroma in. Thank you. Thank you. Like that. That'll do. Because we're not going over the top. That's our, and we'll make this one. Um, and we'll make this one, maybe we'll do like a glitch effect. Okay. Thank you. Kind of like that. What else do we have? Thank you. Thank you. I like that one. And now that we're down here, let's add some effects to these as well. So we'll, we'll bring these ones in too. We'll do like a, we've got some dissolves. Well, all the snow has turned to water. And Christmas days, they've come and gone. Well, all the snow has turned, well, all the snow has turned to water. And we want to do a, Days they've come a fade as well. So we'll do the same with this. We'll do a uh, blur well, and a blur. Days they've come. Well, all the snow has turned to water. I'm gonna do a black. Well, all the snow has turned to water. Well, all the well, all the snow has turned to water. And Christmas days, they've come and gone. Okay, so now what I'm going to try and do is split the audio from here. And now we have the audio, right? So check what I'm doing now. So now we're going to take... The video, move this here, and then we're going to bring these video tracks down. Okay. Well, all the snow has turned to water. And Christmas days, they've come and gone. And we can now fade this out with a blur. Days, they've come and like that, right? Well, all the snow has turned to water. 
916. Cool, we've got 15 Christmas minutes. Days, they've come and gone. <laughs> Broken toys and faded colors. How, how is this out of time now? <laughs> Are all that's left later Oh, man. How does that work? Okay, that didn't work. What a dumb idea this was for this show today. I'll tell you what, this was a mistake. But anyway, here we are, I guess. Um, fuck me. Let's see if I can trim this from here. Uh, we'll do a split. Let's make sure now that it's all in time. Good grief. Kill me, please. Come and gone. All right, that's better. Here again. So I'm going to drag these back down. We'll go through all that again. We'll add a uh, blur for this. They've come. There we go. So let's hope that it's all in time now. Well, all the snow has turned to water. Christmas days, they've come and gone. Why is it out of time again? Broken toys and faded. I guess, I guess we just can't do the, uh, the fade. They've come and gone. Yeah, so we can't do that. That's toilet. Broken toys and faded color. Christmas days, they've come and gone. So that's a really shitty problem with this uh, app. Broken toys and faded colors. Are all that's left to linger on. And I hate graveyards and old pawn shops. Cause they always bring me tears. I can't forgive the way they've robbed me of all my childhood souvenirs. All right. Oh, do I still have sound? Yeah, we're good. It's, uh... Okay. You know what? That's it. That's what I'm doing today. I'm, I'm pretty much done. I've got shit to do. I've got to get out of here. So I'm going to fade this to black. Um, so that's that. I can fade that to black. I can fade all these to black now. Let's fade these to black. So I'm just hitting the arrows here on the end. And fading to black. And if we take the final clip too and the audio, we should be able to do a fade out. Tears. I can't forgive the way they've robbed me of all my childhood souvenirs. Perfect. Well, all the snow has turned to water. And Christmas days, they've come and gone. I'm going to take um, those fades there. Well, all the snow has turned to water. And Christmas days, they've come and gone. Okay. Broken toys and faded colors. So you can see pretty much the same thing. You can make all this stuff, you know, it doesn't have the effects that the the other one has that that cap cut does so what i'm going to do is uh, finish this off in cap cut because i can uh so let's bounce this just as it is we'll bounce the video uh it's at 720p i'm going to make it 1080p it's at 30 frames let's just share it it's 
going to export that video and then close it off. I want to put some lyrics in there, so we'll move it over to CapCut. Because here's the thing, both CapCut and this are free, so you can bounce between two apps to get the desired effects because there's different effects in both of them. Right, so we'll save this video to here. I think that did it. I think it did. I hope so. Maybe. Who knows? Shall we check? <laughs> yep, there it is. Awesome. So now let's open it up in CapCut. Let's make a new project. Throw this in here. Okay, it's automatically made it what we want. Now we can go in and add to this our uh, our, our overlays, our vocal, our lyrics. So we need to do uh, captions. And let's just choose a simple one. We're all good. Auto-generate from the video. And we can just delete what we don't want over the top of the actual signs. So you can hear we've got lyrics there. We don't want them. Let's delete these. Gone. Gone. But we have these here. So now we can come in here, make this bigger. And then apply. And we can just delete the rest of these because they're going to be over the top of this. All the snow has turned to water. And Christmas days, they've come and gone. And broken toys and faded colors are all that's left to linger on. And I hate graveyards and old pawn shops Cause they always So let's add one more thing in here. Let's take this, just let's try this. So this is my uh, background removal app. And let's take this photo of Brad's t-shirt here. I've probably got a better copy and that didn't work too well. So that sucks. I've probably got a better copy. Give me a second. Give me a second, guys. Um... Okay. There we go. So I just removed the background of this. So there's our uh, there's Brad's little love heart from his T-shirt. Now we can change the size of it, right? And then what we'll do is we'll just put this up in the top corner. So we've used this image, but we're not just putting it in the middle of the screen. We're just not putting it in the middle. So it's just not another picture in the middle of the fucking screen. If we put save that to documents. Now I should be able to open this and share to CapCut. Yeah. And it's now added this image into here. We can move this as an overlay. Now we can drag this into where Brad's footage comes in, right? So I'm going to pick this up. Come and go. Come and go. Wow. It says it comes in there. It's, that's fascinating, isn't it? There we go. And now we can take this and shrink it and put it like down here or something, like in a, like a little watermark. Know what I'm saying? You've come and gone and broken. Or the top corner, wherever you want to put it. So it's not like, you know, his name or anything like that. It's just a little watermark that's just there. In fact, we'll put it up the top. 
make it a bit smaller. There we go. Yeah, the captions are pretty cool, aren't they, Thomas? They're pretty rad. Christmas days, they've come and gone. And broken toys and faded colors. Are all that's left to linger on. And I hate graveyards and old pawn shops. Cause they always bring me tears. But he's already wearing the shirt. It's underneath. Um, okay, so uh, basically what I'm going to do now is try and chop this clip here. Just as a final touch. Right there, chop the video. We're going to split it. And split it here as well. And then let's throw some kind of effect on here as well. What do we got? Ops. So we can bring this back. Don't even need to chop it, do we? Because I keep forgetting that's how it works. The days they've come and gone. Cool, huh? Broken. So that's the given us a transition now. And, gone. and broken toys and faded. But now that we've got this image here, let's go in and uh, adjust it or add a filter even. You do an auto adjust like that. So he's a bit brighter. Christmas days, they've come and gone. And broken toys and faded colors. Are all that's left to linger on. And let's put one at the end. Let's do a video effect here. We do an out, Let's, we've got an opening and a closing. So uh, what do we got here? Oh, let's do, what about a TV? What about a, does that work? Graveyards and old pawn shops. Now we need to go in here and fix these lyrics. Let's make sure these lyrics are okay uh, because they're not. That's nice. That's the thing. How do you get back to the lyrics? How do you get back to the caption? Ah, there we go. No? It showed them for a second. <laughs> I have no idea how to get back to the uh, lyrics. I can't find how to do that. So it allows me to... Oh, do we click on these above? So I can see above where the, the actual lyrics are, but I can't get in... I don't know how to get back to where they are. Is it under text? Maybe? Oh, there they are. So you have to click on text to get back. So we're going to just take out this pawn shops. And that should work. Let's make sure the lyrics are right. And broken toys and faded colors. Are all that's left to linger on And I hate graveyards and old pawn shops Pawn shops
than old pawn shops. That's it. Cause they always bring me tea. Well, all the snows turn to water. And Christmas days, they've come and gone. And broken toys and faded colors are all that's left to linger on. And I hate graveyards and old pawn shops. Cause they always Can we do a um transition there? Does that work? Old pawn shops. Cause they always bring me tears. And I can't forgive the way they've robbed me. Of all my childhood souvenirs. That will do. So I'm going to bounce this. I'm going to get this out of here, get it done. And i got to get out of here myself because I have to go and film Walk With Me today. So I'm not going to get to do uh, Luma Fusion or uh, Final Cut Pro because time whatever all right let's have a look see how it came out here in our photos app turn the water and christmas days they've come and gone and broken toys and faded colors are all that's left to linger on And I hate graveyards and old pawn shops Cause they always bring me tears and I can't forgive the way they've robbed me Of all my childhood souvenirs All right, I'm out of here for the day. Uh, have fun. Do, do whatever you want. Mistakes, pff, I don't care. And uh, we all rise together or something like that. Let's play a song. This is Brad Example. And uh, I may see you tomorrow. This is uh, Foolish Child. See you later.
down Until you slowly took it all away Simply lost the 